The following sequence illustrates the basic functions of an injection molding machine and the process by which plastic pellets are transformed into molded parts. Pellets are fed into the hopper. A screw conveys and melts the pellets within the barrel. Melted polymer is forced into the closed mold. The parts are formed. The polymer is cooled within the mold. The mold is opened. The part is ejected or removed from the mold, and the next cycle begins. It is important that production personnel are able to recognize common molding defects. Excessive unwanted material located on the edge of a part is referred to as flash. This is a result of material passing between mold components, usually the parting line. Flash most commonly results from high injection and packing pressures, or low clamp tonnage. The incomplete filling of a mold cavity is called a short shot. Increasing the amount of plastic entering the mold during injection or cleaning the mold vents usually corrects this issue. Designing and constructing an injection mold can be an expensive and time-consuming process. Molds are extremely valuable tools and must be properly cared for before, during, and after production. Good general mold maintenance can help avoid costly repairs and retooling. Before a molding operation begins, the mold should be closely inspected for any damage, such as cracks, leaks, or rust. All moving components should be checked for excessive wear. This is usually evident by streaks or grooves, and if found, should be repaired by a trained professional. Most molds contain venting on the cavities, runners, and gates, and should be thoroughly cleaned with a cloth rag or a cotton swab.